endoscopy release heavy acid secretion and gastric peptide where is the most likely location where do you see most likely uh, in a stomach what is the most likely location of a gastric ulcer so you get it at the pyloric channel okay so it depends on what is the cause of the ulcer usually uh, if it in this scenario it is probably h pylori because you know he is taking uh, frequent medications for them and in case of h pylori it's probably it's most likely pyloric channel if we're talking about an ncr induced ulcer then your answer will be multiple sites okay so here um there are two most common locations for a gastric ulcer that you need to know about okay so that depends so this is the normal anatomy of the stomach this is the esophagus this is the gastroesophageal junction this is the fundus then the part where the esophagus enters into the stomach this is called as the cardia then you have the body the greater curvature the lesser curvature right then you have an angular notch this is called as incisura angularis you have pylorus pyloric vein from pylorus and then the duodenum okay so this in this patient it was a classic presentation of h pylori and whenever in patients who have h pylori infection this is the area that is that the h pylori resides in okay the pyloric part and hence you will have the most common uh, location of ulcers of gastric ulcers in h pylori would be this the pyloric part whereas in case of nsaids induced ulcer what uh, what do nsaids do how do nsaids cause gastric ulcers they never prostaglandins right so as a result of decreased prostaglandins there is decreased mucosal barrier and this decreased mucosal barrier will this decrease mucosal barrier be in one part of the stomach or will it be in all of the stomach so it would be in all parts of the stomach so that is a very important differentiating factor between an uh, nsaids induced gastric ulcer versus an h pylori induced ulcers a very important point here in this question was this that the patient does not take nsaids okay the patient does not uh, take any prescription of over the counter medication and that just led us to that you know this is probably a part of uh, h pylori news because the most common causes of ulcers are h pylori and nsaids right uh, then what nsaids do who is they decrease the mucosal uh, barrier and therefore in had it been a case of nsaids and use also your option would be e there would be multiple sites throughout the stomach but this but because this is just an h pylori induced ulcer uh, these patients would have more ulcers in the pyloric region got it thanks for watching please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more